Hello everybody, good day, nice and bright, sunny out here. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Please consider subscribing. We are gonna talk about three myths about auto start stop. Does it really mess up your engine? Does it give you four poor fuel mileage? Um, we're gonna talk about that. A lot of people think that it messes up the engine. So let's get into it. And we're gonna talk about the three myths. All right, let's get into it. Myth number one, stop start uses more fuel. Obviously the high pressure fuel pump back there. Do you think it uses more fuel? It actually doesn't. Research from the American Automobile Association, uh, very widely known, that does a lot of research on automobiles obviously, found that start stop engines actually um, resulted in a five to 7% improvement in fuel economy. So that's actually pretty good. That may not seem like a big, big amount five to seven percent but it adds up over the lifetime of your vehicle uh, so no they don't use more fuel and i'll talk about why they don't because <clears throat> when auto start stop is you know activated it shuts off fuel flow so you're not burning fuel sitting still when you're sitting in traffic and you're idling you're just burning fuel you're not getting fuel mileage you're just burning fuel so you get poor fuel mileage by just sitting there Myth number two, stop start systems damage your engine, the entire engine. Uh, that is false. The argument comes from the fear of a cold engine. Like right now, my truck hasn't been running since yesterday morning. Uh, the stop start system doesn't work until your engine reaches a warm enough temperature that is actually controlled by the PCM, that it, it's got all these sensors and that it knows what the temperature of the, of the fluid is. Um, so it's not gonna come on until the, the engine oil is warm enough. So if you're in traffic and, you, and your vehicle shuts off, like you go up the road um, and it shuts off, the engine oil is not gonna cool down to a level where it's gonna cause damage to your engine. Um, so basically like a cold start. And that's actually controlled by the PCM. Um, if you're stationary for a long period of time, like you've been running all day um, and you're sitting in a traffic jam, um, it's designed, designed to restart automatically before the temperatures drop. So, and this also has to do with battery voltage, the temperatures of everything, the heat or the cooling in the cab, uh, if you have your steering wheel turned a certain way, the grease, stuff like that. But one of the main things is, is fluid temperature. So it's not going to lose temperature enough where engine damage can occur. And another cool feature that protects your engine um, is it prevents all the oil from actually draining back into the pan. So as a result of that, there's still plenty of oil up here. There's still plenty of oil on the cylinder walls and you know inside the cam journals and all that stuff because all of it's not gonna drain back into the engine. There's safety features in here. If one of those safety features was to fail, then the auto start system is not going to work. It is not going to shut off your engine. That's it. Battery voltage has a lot to do with it as well. And you know, a lot of people think, well, it's going to wear out my starter. It's going to wear out the pistons. Well, obviously it's not going to wear out the piston rings or anything like that because it doesn't allow the oil to drain back down. It is not going to wear out your starter because the starter motor, the ring gear, and the flywheel, they do work more frequent, but they're actually built with higher specifications than a vehicle without auto start stop. Um, the internals of the engine, or not the engine, but the starter, they're a little bit more robust. So they can actually take a beat and keep on going. The starter on mine is actually located down there behind the oil filter. Uh, turbos, the turbos aren't affected and the buildup of soot in the EGR is actually minimized through engine management. Um, further advances like dry lubes on the engine bearings and, and improvements to the durability of the engine bearings. Uh, it means they're designed and they're built to withstand auto start stop. So many stops. Now the auto stop start stop counter is actually in the body control module. And I think it's 10,000 starts 
and then it's going to have to be reset at some point. Um, one, another one of the huge ones is it kills the battery. Um, it wears out your battery. That's actually very false as well. If you notice, this you saw me do a video replacing this. This is an AGM battery. It is not a acid-filled battery. Okay. These auto start-stop vehicles actually have very robust batteries. Uh, like I said, it usually requires AGM for auto start-stop system, and it has a high capacity on it. Uh, some cars actually have a separate battery that is used for restart of the engine, and, and it won't use this battery. It'll use a separate battery. Um, and also, the computer, the PCM, will check battery voltage and state of health before it even shuts down. So if it sees that there isn't enough charge, like I did a video of why I replaced my battery, then the vehicle is just going to be left running. Now remember I changed mine because every time I would come to a stop and I would go to the auto start stop system, it would say vehicle charging. Now my battery was losing voltage, my charging system was working fine. But my battery had some low cranking amps on it and the voltage wouldn't stay up. Plus it was cold outside, so it was taking longer for it. So it was monitoring everything and, it, and the PCM noticed that the state of health or the charge of the battery wasn't sufficient enough to restart the engine if it shut off. So it left the engine running to charge. Um, so a lot of people that are having problems with the start stop system, like I, I posted that short, it usually has to do with battery voltage. If you look on the computer, you may see a bunch of low voltage codes or somebody replaced the battery and didn't reset the battery monitoring system. The vehicle knows the state of health and if you change the battery out, it doesn't know that you changed the battery because it still has kept into a memory the old battery. So you reset the battery monitoring system, it recognizes the new health system, everything comes back online. So, there you got it. Auto start stop does not ruin your engine, it doesn't ruin your starter. It is an old myth, and I can understand where people are coming from. Hey, you know, first time you start up, that's when most engine wear occurs. Yeah, if it's been sitting all day or for a week or two without even starting. It takes a long time for the oil to drain back down into the pan. Say, for example, we have to do engine oil pans. We can't just drain the oil and then let the pan sit because it's still running out of the crankcase. It'll still drip. We have to let it sit for like 24 hours. But, there you have it. So no, auto start stop system does not mess up your engine, does not mess up your starter. No engine damage is gonna occur. Feel free to use it. If you don't wanna use it, that's fine too. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.